Hello everyone. In today's insect profile, we're talking about a prehistoric Cretont. Not just any Cretont, a giant Hynodonte. And it is. Megastotherium. So this giant Hynodont lived the early Miocene between 20, 23.03 to 11.61 million years ago, meaning that Megastotherium never met big cats or hyenas or other canids. Or even bears. So, Megastotherium is part of the part of a subfamily group called Howlurdae, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So Megastotherium is one of the largest known hynodontids known. So, so the so the enormous skull. Rel, rel, <clears throat> I can't even pronounce. I can't even say words. Relative to its body, up to sixty meters, between two feet. Two inches in length, and its weight of four hundred five hundred kilograms. So imagine an evolved hynodont, but on steroids, twice as big. But Simba Koopa also is the biggest. So, mega okay, Megastotherium also hunted prey like hornless rhinoceroses and early protocidians like Prodinotherium and etc. And cause of extinction well there are some factors one that the, that the megasotherium lived that forest that turned that became drier and turned into open landscapes which means that it it's very difficult to hunt prey in open spaces I might be wrong though but change in environment, which means herbivores that having trouble to adapt to the environment. Or 
it was most likely being competed with modern, modern carnivores, like meso carnivores that outcompeted this giant hyena daunted to extinction. Still, it may not be 100% accurate. But that's the only thing I could only could find. So here's the size comparison to a human. So let's get some of pop culture appearances in documentaries, movies, and video games. Well, it did not appear in any documentaries or movies, but in games, like, for example, Jurassic Park Builder, first appearance, and Megas and Meg Megas Teltherium also appear in a Jurassic World, the game. So I guess that's pretty much it for any appearances for this giant hyena daunt. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. Anyways, like and subscribe, hit the bell to know if I have new videos, and make sure you don't miss another one. Yeah. So, our next sensor profile, I'll be doing Agriotherium, a species of extinct bear, and later, Viverilikai, a giant prehistoric civet. Until next time. See you later, guys.